Well, other marquee players are getting signed today across the NFL. The Steelers made their biggest splash by signing cornerback William Gay, former player of the Steelers and an Arizona Cardinal. I'm Neil Kulong with Behind the Steel Curtain, and the question that Steelers fans are going to be asking is, which William Gay are they getting exactly? Is he the guy that had two game-sealing interceptions in 2011, one versus Cleveland and one versus Cincinnati? Or is he the guy who was basically dry-humped up and down the field by Jordy Nelson of the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 45 and had nothing more of nothing of a sensational season at all in Arizona last season? Maybe a better question is going to be what position William Gay is going to play on this team. With Keenan Lewis heading into unrestricted free agency and not an offer having been made by the Steelers just yet, the odds-on favorite to replace Keenan Lewis in the starting lineup is Cortez Allen. Opposite Ike Taylor, Cortez Allen played very well last season and had five forced turnovers in the final two games. William Gay and his three-year $4.5 million contract is enough to replace Cortez Allen in the starting lineup. It remains to be seen what exactly the Steelers are planning to do with their secondary in the future. A unit that's been plagued by a lack of turnovers over the last two seasons, the, name, the nickname Big Play Willie Gay didn't exactly ever come to fruition in, in his five years in Pittsburgh, but with depth at the position last season, they very well could have qualified for the playoffs. Injuries to Allen and Lewis toward the end of last season pushed uh, third-year veteran Curtis Brown into the starting lineup against the San Diego Chargers. Brown was destroyed, in particular on third downs, by Chargers quarterback Phillip Rivers, and the Steelers went on to suffer their biggest defeat of the season and one of the largest over the last five years and during the Mike Tomlin era in Pittsburgh. Having depth at cornerback is important for every single team in the NFL, and perhaps William Gay's contract suggests he's not going to be around for a particular long amount of time. He got a $500,000 signing bonus to sign with the Steelers. Using that, he's not exactly going to drive the Brinks truck full of money the way Joe Flacco is going to do, but at the same time, it's a nice chunk of money to pay out even to a veteran cornerback looking to provide depth within this team. What the Steelers plan to do with the cornerbacks in the future was seen as a strength heading into this season, but if, the, if Lewis ends up leaving this team and they're debating on a start between William Gay and Cortez Allen, they've officially lost all of the depth that they've put together over the last couple seasons, and this is a team that spent two third-round picks on cornerbacks as well as the fourth-round pick in Cortez Allen in a two-year span of, of 2009 and 2010. Having William Gay back on that roster defeated the entire purpose of letting him go in the first place. But then again, the only people that really need to apologize is the Arizona Cardinals in signing William Gay last season. What the Steelers plan to do in the draft because of this news or free agency is up in the air. But we're going to have all of that and more on Behind the Steel Curtain, so check it out. I'm Neil Kulong, the editor of Behind the Steel Curtain. You've been watching another original YouTube broadcast here on SB Nation.